they'd been waiting 25 years to see the final, and potentially most sensitive, batch of records related to President John F. Kennedy's assassination. Then came word late Thursday that President Trump had acquiesced to CIA and FBI lobbying to withhold tens of thousands of the files. For historians, journalists and Kennedy buffs, the promise of revelations about what happened in Dallas on November 22, 1963, disappeared. My expectations were low, and they should have been lower, said Gerald Posner, author of the 1993 Kennedy assassination book Case Closed. Though the National Archives and Records Administration put 2,800 records online, about 30,000 more remain concealed at the urging of national security officials. On Friday, WikiLeaks offered $100,000 for the still withheld documents. On Twitter, the organization's founder, Julian Assange, polled followers over President Trump's about face. Why did U.S. intelligence agencies fail to meet the legal deadline? They had 25 years' notice of for the release of all remaining JFK files by today, he asked. The choices show power over Trump, ruin Trump's PR move, serious incompetence, or conceal activities. Early Friday morning, the president tweeted assurances to those infuriated by the delay that he wants to disclose as much as possible, JFK files are being carefully released. In the end, there will be great transparency, 